Hi, my name is Alex Bird, and this is my um, presentation about my personal Blue Zone project. So, um, as an introduction, uh, I've had very terrible drinking habits, especially with soda. In the past, I've um, happened to drink two to three sodas daily. Now it's more about one to two before this project started. And I also underestimated the importance of water, um, and I just never really drank much water to begin with. I, in addition to this, did really know how unhealthy Stoda truly was. Um, it wasn't until I did research that I truly understood why it wasn't healthy. Um, and what sort of inspired me to start this project was um, noticing the very high sugar content on um, the ingredients of a soda bottle. One soda bottle um, is over 100% of your daily value of added sugar, and that's a lot. So it it made me really want to pay attention to what I put into my body, um, and inspired me to drink less soda and more water. Um, from my research, I learned that soda is associated with a variety of negative effects. This includes weight gain, cardiovascular diseases, um, also affects a person's energy levels, especially in regards to um, sugar and sugar crashes. It also affects the condition of your teeth because the soda is naturally acidic and even affects your the aging of your skin as well. Um, it also doesn't even stop at physical effects. It also has effects on your brain. Drinking even one soda daily is enough to increase your risk of strokes and Diet soda isn't even safe either. It's associated with um, the risk of dementia. And it's also has a risk of um, liver or causing liver cancer and biliary tract cancer, which is a specific type of aggressive liver cancer. So it is also associated with hypertension, and this includes with uh, both sugar sweetened drinks and artificially sweetened drinks. So again. Diet sodas aren't still aren't safe. Artificially sweetened drinks on another on a different part of my research um, led to discovering lessened sweet sensitivity, which I've actually experienced um, myself, and also is associated with weight gain as well. After doing my research, I decided to sort of put together the framework of a plan. I knew that I wanted to limit my soda intake, and I wanted to um, drink more water. So I put down some ground rules. I wanted to limit my soda intake daily, and I wanted to have some way of encouraging me to um, change that habit of what I found to be useful was using other people drinking soda as a reminder of my goal, in a sense. For instance, um, and if I'm, for instance, like with my mom going through a drive-thru, um, if she orders a soda, I would use that as a reminder to then order something else, as tea or um, just something that is not soda or more healthy than soda. This doesn't always work, especially in large social gatherings, which I'll come back to later. Um, I wanted to establish a water minimum, uh, like a minimum amount of water that I wanted to drink. Um, and I also wanted to uh, find sources or types of water that I found enjoyable to drink. So that would in then encourage me further to drink more water since I, it's something that I would become, uh, that I would enjoy. With these goals in mind, I came up with a plan of having one soda daily at maximum with two liters of water daily as a 
absolute minimum. So from results, uh, the first week was a little rocky. Monday, um, I broke my soda goal. And uh, Friday, Sunday, I broke my water goal. Um, fr Friday and Sunday is something to point out, as it will be a recurring thing with my water goal. Um, the second week, I proudly did not break my soda goal. However, I broke my water goal Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. Um, this was due to a road trip that was planned, and it was pretty intensive, um, of about seven to eight hours of driving per day. Um, and then the third week, uh, I broke my soda goal on Wednesday, unfortunately, but I did um, improve on my water goal at least a little bit and only broke it on Saturday. So... Reflecting on this, on the results and sort of what I found to work and not work, um, I mentioned earlier that using other people to drink soda um, worked in some cases to sort of change my mind. However, it did not always work. Um, larger social gatherings is especially uh, evident. Um, in fact, both days that I broke my soda goal it was due to hanging out with um, multiple friends of mine. Um, also found it very difficult to keep up with my water goal, especially when I'm very busy, um, especially with my work schedule. I work Fridays to Sundays, which sort of explains why it was very difficult for me to consistently hit my water goal on um, in that period of time. The Tuesday was a little bit of an exception, though um, I mentioned earlier on um, on the April 8th weekend that um, I had a road trip. This was from me and my mom traveling um, east to Texas to try and see the um, total eclipse that was happening on April 8th. We left Saturday morning. And it was seven to eight hours of driving per day until we arrived back on uh, Tuesday afternoon. A lot of driving. And so I found it very difficult to remind myself to um, keep up with my water intake. So from if I were to continue this project, I would do a couple things a little differently. Um, for instance, I would decrease my soda intake even further than it is already. Right now, it's about one soda per day, which is still very high from my research. Even one soda a day can increase your risk of various diseases and um, risks of certain things, such as strokes and such. So um, it's definitely definitely needs to be taken down further. One way of doing that is establishing a weekly limit on top of the daily limit. Therefore, if I were to miss, uh, for instance, say five sodas weekly, then I would only be able to drink one soda per day of the five days per week, in a, essentially. Um, so another way as well was thinking more on the plans for that day. I mentioned earlier social gatherings was very difficult for me, but it wasn't necessarily that I was ordering multiple drinks of soda. It was more so that I had soda in the morning already, and so when I went out to hang out with my friends, I would be encouraged to buy soda, and I would do so um, since I also wanted to fit in with my friends and such. So thinking more on plans, thinking ahead, um, and sort of retroactively, I would have rather 
just not drink any soda in the morning and then use that sort of drink token and in a sense turn it into myself to allow myself to drink one soda at that social gathering. Um, also, water consumption on busy days. I had a little bit of an improvement later on that third week, but I still want to work on that. It's on work days, it's very difficult. I'm very busy um, and I close as well. So it can be very difficult to um, keep myself in check. So I do, um, I, I do want to find ways to encourage myself to drink more water on work days, though I haven't necessarily come up with a good way of doing that. So all in all, why does this matter? So to me, I had a very high personal soda intake when I was younger. Um, and it was honestly quite ridiculous and very unhealthy. And in fact, I'm not much of a healthy person at all. I don't really go out for walks or um, work out. I don't necessarily eat the healthiest either. So if I can change this drinking habit, it may open doors to me to changing other habits of mine, maybe going out encouraging me to be more healthy in general of exercising or changing how I eat and such. Um, the research was very impactful to me. Uh, it made me more determined um, on sticking with my plan, especially with uh, the days where I fumbled a bit and didn't meet my soda goal or water goal, for instance. Um, it was enough, the research was impactful enough where it, was, it made me determined to just not give up, but um, it encouraged me to work better and find ways to stick to my plan. Um, it changed how I really think about soda now. Um, in the past, I didn't really give much thought into how unhealthy soda was. I would drink it constantly, but nowadays I sort of, I acknowledge that soda is very unhealthy, especially if it's in excess amounts and that being basically more than one soda daily, um, depending on the research. Um, that you pull that from. But in general, it's between, I would say six to um, six to eight sodas per week is where you start to get a negative effects from it. Um, it also encouraged me, this project encouraged me to find alternatives to soda. Um, so tea specifically, um, I've always liked green, black, and mint tea, and I've been encouraged to look more into tea. Um, I find it calming, and it is a more healthy <laughs> equivalent to soda for sure, um, and it still has a taste to the water and such. In regards to the actual like water types, um, I've come to like that I absolutely hate purified water, and I much more prefer water that is sourced from springs. So um, I've definitely grown accustomed to that change. Um, other than that, my reference pages, and that's all.